Hello Topers, today let's start the video with a question Why spider navy is seen in liver diseases? So let's see what is spider navy. Spider navy is nothing but a telangiectasia where there will be dilatation of the arteriole. So because of the dilatation of the arteriole, we can see the capillaries branching out of it. You can see in the image clearly, the central dot is indicating the arteriole and uh, because of the dilatation of the arteriole, the capillaries around, in, around it are clearly seen because of the increased blood flow. This is how a normal arteriole and capillaries look like. And in case of spider navy, because of the dilatation of the central arteriole, these thin walled capillaries used to look prominent because of the dilatation as I had already mentioned. So in our topic, we had seen that spider navy is associated with the liver diseases only. But the answer is, there is not only liver association, there are few other diseases which are associated with the spider navy. Those are rheumatoid arthritis and thyrotoxicosis, where we can see spider navy. Other, other than those conditions, in physiological condition also, we can see spider navy, that is pregnancy. So, the next question is how it is happening. Already I had mentioned it is nothing but the dilatation of pre-existing central arterioles. And uh, it is occurring because of the failure of the sphincteric muscle around the central arteriole. So, the next question which comes in our mind is why sphincteric muscle failure is happening. Still now there is no clear cut pathology why it is happening. But there are few hypotheses indicating this sphincteric muscle failure. First one. Direct vasodilatory effect of alcohol in case of alcoholic liver diseases. Then hyperestrogenism and inadequate hepatic metabolism of steroid hormones. And these are all the proposed hypotheses which were causing the sphincteric muscle failure. So let's see what are all the location. There is some specificity regarding the location. So let me tell you that first phase, then neck. And upper chest and arms, which is exactly in the superior vena cava distribution. And also in the mucosa of oral cavity and GIT. Thank you so much.